Marshall Islands, first territory of Japan's pre-war empire to be invaded by United States forces. A 700-mile group of atolls bristling with Jap air and sea bases. Most important of these is Kwajalein, the Marshall's strategic heart. Roy and Namor are taken by United States Marines, Kwajalein by the Army. These pictures show the Army invasion. Ships of Admiral Turner's giant task force stand offshore. The pre-invasion bombardment nears its devastating conclusion. Kwajalein's two and a half miles is hit again and again. island just west of Kwajalein, United States artillery pounds the objective at almost point-blank range. Piles of empty shell cases indicate the ferocity of the barrage. Now scores of landing craft bring the troops ashore. They drive in for the decisive assault. The patches on their backs are to identify them to their own low-flying aircraft. Machine gunners get a Jap sniper in a tree. Mortar fire is constant, devastating. It drives the enemy further back. A Japanese pillbox is blasted by dynamite. Riflemen cover any possible escape. Flamethrowers finish off a Jap military building. The Americans push ahead. All arms keep up relentless pressure on the enemy. With a loudspeaker, an American officer speaking in Japanese demands the surrender of the enemy still holding out in the ruined emplacement. One Jap comes out. Another with a white flag. A Jap tells an officer there were 10 in his pillbox. All are now dead or prisoners. The army alone killed 4,600 Japanese and captured 163.
wounded Japanese receive the same expert medical attention that is given to the Americans. These are native Kanakas, men and women forced to labor for the Japs. Every living Jap is registered as a prisoner of war. Individual tags are filled out. All are given clean new clothes. Enemy bodies litter the sands. The army did a thorough job. American wounded are brought up for treatment. With the grim fighting past, the men relax. With the island won, the mess sergeant celebrates with a Kwajalein chicken. Admiral Nimitz, Pacific Fleet Commander, and Lieutenant General Richardson, Army Commander, visit the scene of battle. At the highest point on Kwajalein, the American flag is raised. Under Admiral Nimitz, the United States moves ahead in the Battle of the Pacific.